You've heard of X-Men, but have you heard of X-Gender? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dee, my pronouns they, them, and I make people mad on the internet by talking about non-binary identity. So today, I'm going to talk about X. No, not Twitter's rebrand. I'm sorry to dead name you X. I'm sorry. Forgive me. No, I am talking about X-Gender. X-Gender originated in Japan and became popularised in the 1990s through queer organisations. And anyone who is trans, gender non-conforming, non-binary can use the term and label X-Gender. But what does it mean? Simply put, X or X-Gender is a way of signalling that an individual doesn't identify or belong in the category or binaries of male and female. And you will see this mostly used in written communication, mostly on legal documents, when somebody has you know, when somebody's asked about their sex and they don't want to say, they will put X. Well, it became an actual identity. People started to identify as X. They would put an X instead to say, no, I'm not either of those things. I'm me. I'm D. I'm X. And I really love that. And I love how it started as written communication, as written proof of non-binariness, of gender non-conformity. And then it became part of our everyday spoken language as well and now there are people who identify as x who say that their gender is x gender and there's something really moving and personally political about saying no and putting an x on the sex identifier saying no i'm not either of these things i am just me and that's all you need to know and i love that as a non-binary person who you know, is fighting for non-binariness to be legalised in the UK, I would rather put X on all of my legal documentation than put female. And yes, this video is only short, but that's because there isn't a lot on X gender out there. But if you identify as X gender, let me know. And no, I will not be adopting X gender. But if somebody sees me putting X on my sex marker, you'll know why. <laughs> and that is all for today's video. Let me know what other identities you would like me to explore next. Bye.